Hello again, Mike Corinde here, Trailer System Trainer. I'm joined with Max Gonzalez at the Salt Lake City OC, and today we're going to be doing a corner cap replacement. Let's check it out. Here's a look at the damaged corner cap. Now's a good time to take your before pictures and attach them to the work order. First thing we're going to want to do is remove the light, take the two screws out, pull the light out, unplug it, and then we're going to take our chisel bit and our air hammer and shear the rivet heads off. And here's what it looks like with the light out and the rivet head sheared off. Next, you're going to want to take a punch bit, which we put into a grinder to modify it to fit directly into the quarter inch rivet holes in the corner cap to punch them through. As you can see here in this photo, we're punching the rivets through to the inside of the trailer. Next, take your flat blade and go up top and get rid of all that Sikaflex and peel the roof up as much as possible to access the rivets underneath all that Sikaflex so you can punch them through. Then take your chisel bit to the left and right of the corner cap and work it in a way so that the corner cap can be removed and the wires can be safely tucked behind the front panel. Hammer out the radius if need be and be sure to install foam tape on your new corner cap. Now it's time to fit your new corner cap drill a quarter inch hole and put a nut and bolt through it to hold it securely into place. Clamping it on the other end to repeat the same process. Don't follow the little dots that are on the corner cap. Just make sure you go inside out from where the old holes used to be. Now it's time to get your quarter inch rivets into place. Make sure you use the correct length rivet. Have someone inside bucking as the person outside is shooting the rivets. And once that's done, you can go ahead and drill your holes to run the wiring for the light and for the bolts that will mount the assembly on there. Go ahead and attach your light. Now flatten off the roof so that way you can get it drilled, riveted. Don't forget to put Sikaflex foam tape and make sure that it's completely sealed. Then go ahead and smash those rivets to seal the roof to the top of the new corner cap. Go ahead and finish it off with Sikaflex on top around the sides to seal it up overall. And don't forget to take your after pictures and attach them to the work order. As a final step, I would suggest checking all your lights to ensure that they're working properly, as well as go inside to do a light check. Lastly, as a reminder, please check out our bucking rivets video for more details on what a properly bucked rivet looks like. You're probably going to use three or four different length rivets in this, and it's very important to get the right size. Thanks for watching this video on corner cap replacement. Stay safe out there. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your training team.